What's up, Raf Gang? Welcome back to another unboxing video. I got something really cool for you guys. This is a PlayStation DualSense charging station. Uh, the nice thing about this one, it's a, definitely a better value uh, than the standard one that uh, will cost $10 more than this. And this does the same, pretty much the same thing, right? So I will send this, uh, in, send this in so I can show you guys what this is all about. So I'm gonna do an unboxing, take a peek at it, compare the two and uh, plug it in and see how it looks like. Uh, if you're excited for an affordable PlayStation 5 charging station, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get this unboxed. Now let's check out the web page on Amazon, see what it looks like. All right guys, so this is from High Wings, PS5 controller charging station for 20 bucks. And right now there's a 10% coupon for this guy. Benefit of this one, it's gonna charge your controller in two hours. It'll charge two controllers in about four hours. Uh, the benefit is of this is going to have that overcharge protection, so you're not going to be able to fry your battery if you leave it on all the time. Don't worry about that. As soon as it's charged, it doesn't charge anymore until you take it off, put it back on, which is really good. So like I said, two-hour charge time for one, stable charging. What I, what I think I like better about this one is it has an LED light in the front, so it tells you when the controller is fully charged. The uh, standard uh, PS5 one don't. Let's take out a couple pictures here, guys. All right, so if you notice in the front, you got your uh, little uh, icons there. Uh, the blue icon means it's fully charged, and the red icon means it's charging. So once it hits that blue icon, you're good to go. Uh, it's got that, that over voltage, overheat, over current, all that protection. So no worries about leaving it on all the time and ruining your battery. It's got gold connections. Uh, you can hook it up with the USB-C or a USB connection actually, um, or your AC adapter, USB adapter. Uh, you can even plug it in your PC, PS5 console if you wanted, or just a regular outlet. So like I said, uh, two hour charge time, very fast, and then about uh, three hours looks like for two batteries or two controllers, that's good. Uh, so easy, easy storage for your wire underneath, which is good. And uh, yeah, it looks just fine. You know, it matches up with the white controller. So let's check out, oh, by the way, this is the uh, the official one, which is 30 bucks, not even in stock. Why? Save your money. Get something that does the same thing. That I think gives you a little bit more for your money as well. All right, let's get this unboxed. Check out it inside. All right, guys, so here is the front of the box here. Side and go back. Just take this bottom part out. There we go. Nothing else in the box. Pretty simple. All right, guys. Got your front. Yeah. And then the bottom is going to be your battery, your, uh, your cord storage area. So pretty much that is, that is it, guys. Does not come with an AC adapter. So you'd have to grab one of your old cell phone uh, AC bricks, plug it in that and into the outlet, or plug this into your PS5 directly or computer or any other AC adapter with a USB. As you can see, comparing the two, this is the official one. This is the more affordable, same thing. Look at the front guys. Indicators, no indicators. Look at the top here. Looks like they both have the gold contacts, but uh, you know what? For $10 less, guys, this does the same thing. All right, so I'm gonna plug this into an AC adapter and I'll show you what it looks like with the uh, controller plugged in. All right, be right back. All right, guys, so what you wanna do is unhook that whole cable, unplug it, and then you wanna plug it in to the USB-C in the back of the charging station. Plug that in, and I'm just using a USB extension cable so you can plug this in, like I said before, in your PS5 or into your computer or get one of your spare AC adapters and plug it in, um, or just use an extension USB cable as well. So once you plug it in, you're gonna get two, two lights, right? That just says that they're both ready to go, ready to charge. You simply just place the controller on top, like so. And as you can see on the bottom, it's charging. That means it's red, it's charging. And when it's fully charged, it'll become blue. All right, guys, you have a great day. If you want to pick this up yourself, 
The link is in the description below. Go ahead and click that link. You get that 10% coupon if it's still going on. It's only 20 bucks and a heck of a value. And I think a much better way to go to save money, charge your controller. It's fantastic. Like, subscribe, share, guys. I appreciate your support. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next unboxing video. Home Theater Rules. Wrath out. See you guys.